legends in bathrooms and everywhere. Some say they're the worst in the entire country. I have vowed to go check it out for myself. So let's go explore some bathrooms. Yeah! So what's your opinion on the state of the bathrooms at Amundorf? Um, they're all pretty terrible. I mean, you get a pass from your teacher to go to the bathroom, and then you have to like walk around from the center court one to like the one in the hundred wing, and you just can't find one that either has like a broken lock or just urine all over the seat deliberately. It's clogged. Or when you walk in, you think it's the, the only bathroom in the school that's actually clean, and there's a Nate Jones sticker on the wall. Mm -hmm. So how do you think they could improve it? Um, honestly, just some sort of PSA to the students that, you know, you have to not deliberately try to break the bathrooms, and also just more consistent upkeep on the bathrooms. All right. So those were some pretty horrifying stories. We decided we were going to go check out the bathrooms and see if what Kyle said was true. What we found was shocking. First we checked out the famed booger wall. It looks like a normal wall, but you see these specks here? As you get closer, you notice they're actually all boogers. Disgusting. Scientists have proven that boogers can transmit thousands of diseases. These include, but are not limited to, HIV and Ebola. Can you believe that? And this is right here in Avangrove. So we tested the water coming out of the faucets at Avangrove, and if this strip turns red, that means that there are traces of the plague in the water. And would you look at that? It's red. We continued to make our way through the bathrooms, finding toilet paper all over the floor. There were also plenty of unflushed toilets, but it all culminated in something so gross that we had to blur out the image for you. As you can see, there's a hefty dump here on top of an agenda with a juice carton. It doesn't get any grosser than that, Avangrove. It quickly became clear that many of Avangrove's problems were due to students vandalizing their own bathrooms. We found one of these vandals in the act and conducted a brief interview with him. His identity has been concealed for his own protection. Hi, Avangrove student. What are you doing there? I'm doing my art project. <laughs> Which would be what exactly? Well, you see, as a high school student, I try to be edgy because I don't understand my emotions. So to express myself, I like to soak paper towels and then put them on things for someone else to clean up. Hmm, why exactly do you do this? Well, you see, it's very expressive of how I'm feeling, and I think that it is a creative and intelligent way to really tell the world who I am. So, how do you think about the states of uh, Avangrove's bathrooms in general? Well, personally, I think that they're a little too clean. <laughs> I think that it would be better if we kept all the graffiti, we stuck more paper towels to walls, and we never cleaned them ever. Hmm. So, what do you think happens to all the stuff that you put on the walls after you leave? Well, there are some theories on that, but no one can say for sure. It's just gone in the morning. Hmm. Alright, thanks for the thanks for a brief interview today. Another rampant problem with the boys' bathrooms at Avangrove is the urinals. Nobody wants to use a urinal without a urinal divider. Especially if the door is right next to the urinal. If somebody opens the door, they're looking right at you, and nobody wants that. So what they opt for is using urinals that are more secluded from others. As you can see in this picture here, three urinals are right next to each other, but only one will ever be used at a time. This is because one of the urinals is small and no one wants to use the small urinal, while the other two urinals don't have dividers between them and nobody wants to pee next to someone else. The urinals aren't the only appliances that aren't working the way that they should in the bathroom. Many of the other appliances either aren't stocked or simply don't work the way that they're supposed to. There's also the legendary sinks of Adam Grove, which have been known to take skin off of people's hands. Many of the bathroom stalls don't even lock. Okay, so this is about as good as I can lock it here. Like that. It doesn't go any further than that. I didn't even touch it and it opened up. We were able to find one bathroom in the school that was in good condition. It was the bathroom on the third floor by the pool. Since very few students know of its existence, it almost never gets used. Because of that, 
it stays in amazing condition. Just think, this is what all bathrooms in the school could look like if only they were properly taken care of.